Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is Alex and this is The Ramble and we go until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, that be Lori Thompson. Hello Lori. Hello there. How you doing <laughs> kiddo? Well, uh... I, I feel I have COVID. You have what? COVID. 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 You you have COVID. Of all things, you know, and so. Um, Wait a minute. Can I catch it doing this? I wonder. Yes. <laughs> what I have to do is get a paintbrush. Just br and cover just breathe on me. Go ahead. Breathe on me. <gasps> oh God! I got it again. <laughs> You're headachy and achy already. So did you go no. get? Did you go get the stuff? The, you, oh, don't tell me. Pax Lovid yeah. with COVID. They offered it to me, and I just thought, you know, I, I'm i just kind of tired of being inundated with all of this crap. Yeah, so but, I told them, they said, well, call us if you need it. And I said, I'm, I think I'm going to just tough it out with hydration and sleeping like a big dog, which yeah. I have been doing. Yeah. And because anyway, this kind of ties in with a line of thinking because we were, you know, traveling Venice and Correa. Now, is that where you got it? I see. Well, I don't know. I think it's more likely the airlines that that you get it when you're flying, and you're flying a lot when you fly internationally with various groups of people, and you are shoulder. You're literally like when you're like not just when you're lining up to get on and off the plane, but there you're like shoulder to shoulder with people you know especially the pushy ones i'm you know class five or whatever it is yeah and so you are they're breathing in your face all the time when you're doing the overhead bins all the time mm -hmm. and so i think it's more likely during that part of the process and uh, i don't know because i didn't get it till the very tail end i didn't feel any symptoms until the um when i was getting off the plane i didn't feel any symptoms but on the way home we have a five-hour drive from atlanta mm -hmm. and so i you know the wait a minute you just froze up on me and yeah. then came home and slept for 18 hours sleep is the big thing but the thing is when you sleep your colon sleeps so when you're taking an international vacation your colon is so taxed by sleeping and waking up at these odd times. It doesn't know, you know, when to poo and when to take a nap. And so that it's it's colon confusion because of the timing. Colon confusion. Timing I've never heard of that before. Colon, colon confusion. Well, it's just a phrase that I coined when I'm reading all this. I'm massive. Well, you're data. good at you're good so at said, coining phrases. You're, you're good at coining phrases. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's cut to the chase. What is this? It's colon confusion. Yeah. No, uh, how are you and, feeling? Uh, how, so how, then, how, yeah. How are you feeling now? Tired. Yeah. Fatigue, fatigue, fatigue. But uh, so that's what when I got back, I thought, oh, it's just that jet lag, because I used to, you know people speak. Of, of jet lag like it's akin to the plague and it never really affected me that much as the way it had been described by my theatrical friends and so I thought oh it must be I'm finally starting to get jet lag and they said um, on the COVID test no you're a C and a T you have COVID so did, who, did they test you on the plane no 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 oh, they no. I when I, I as soon as I got home I thought See, here's the problem. We've gotten yeah. too loosey goosey about this whole COVID thing. You know, that's it. They should have made everybody wear masks on the plane still. But no, uh, it's okay. Go ahead, cough in people's faces. We don't care. Yeah, I'm going to start wearing masks on planes. I think. Which I remember when my mom had colon cancer. Mm -hmm. She would wear masks. This is way before the COVID hit. COVID hit. This would have been in 2014. 
Yeah. And or 2012. And so she would wear a mask when she went to baby showers with, you know, church. I think she wore a mask. Yeah. And this that was thought of as Chinese behavior, you know, and uh, she, but it must have, it must have helped some. She didn't die of colon cancer or colon related issues. Oh, really? No, no. It was after she'd been given a clean bill of health. She got hit by a car. No, <laughs> that would have been a DOS ex machina. Oh, no. but uh, she then came down with lung and pancreatic. And I don't think many people come back from that combo. No, no, not at all. Not at all. But you know, actually, was, actually, what happened was my ex-wife, Ronnie, uh, yeah. got pancreatic cancer. They operated on her doing this thing called the Whipple procedure. And uh, it, 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 she got rid of it. It, it, uh, it cured her. But. A few years later, she came down with lung cancer. So See, apparently it spreads, you know. It does, and it's real, just sneaky. It's sneaky. Because she had been given a clean bill of health on cancer. Cancer-free, yeah. get free, have a party. And then a month after that, you know, cancer-free, she came down with the two that took her life. And yeah. uh, I was, you know, kind of cavalier about it when I was told, because I thought, my mom doesn't die of cancer. She beats cancer. That's a wrap, you know. And I, I expected her fully to come back from this. And it well, was how did what, the, what do they do for the pancreatic cancer? Do they do that Whipple procedure, or did they do an operation, or what? I don't know if it was too extreme, but the combination I think really impacted the treatment course that she was given. Yeah. And she, she was dead uh, five months after. I wow. mean, and I. I didn't know that, and I was kind of like, "Well, I'm gonna recover." She always recovers. Yeah, your parents are impervious to death. That that's right. They're invincible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but they're but they're not. And no, they're, they're not. They're like the rest of us. Yeah, yeah. and but but if you want to avoid the uh, colon, you know, fatigue, the uh, the confused colon, the confused then just, colon, you can probably start leaving if you're going international. Kind of try to train your body to sleep on the international park wherever you're going yeah you know, I mean, but still always. you know I, I often found sometimes i've slept like i went to china okay Ooh. and and i um on the plane i took a xanax and put myself to sleep and slept for most of the flight right yeah, I, and I when i got a... there 13 hours later i still was jet lagged <laughs> You know, I think jet lag has something to do more with the fact that you're dealing with different. How can I put it? You're de you're dealing with with different time zones, and that's it. Period. Yeah. And you just can't yeah. get used to those time zones. Mm -hmm. You know. So I mean, even though I slept, I was jet lagged for a couple of days. I mean, jet lag to China is really profound. I know? would bet. Well, there's the disorientation, you know, you have to think about, like, it's a Euro and, you know, in, in Europe. How, mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um, and, the, you know, the transition is not so tough, but uh, especially now that, they're, that so many are on, the, you know, in the Euro, in the, in the EU. But it's, uh, it would be extremely difficult, I would think, in, in China, because there's so many variables of our day-to-day -day going through life that are a little different than what you eat and you know what you yeah. the whole the whole shooting match as my grandpa would say yeah well now you went to croatia yes and it was charming but charming i'm told I, i've seen pictures of it and i went croatia not a bad idea no it's the coastal we went the coastal route mm -hmm. and uh, it was beautiful and quaint but not in a cloying way you know, whereas I aren't we so damn quaint? Yeah. And we some guided tours, but then others. I just like to walk around and you know try to talk to people <laughs> and see you know how much of that language barrier is really a barrier and how much of it we can do with our eyes and our gestures and our temperaments. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 It, it's beautiful, and and so I mean, especially if you went in the off season, Croatia would be just you know lay back and joyous it was a little more congested you know one of the reasons game of thrones oh they really game... yeah they were shot they shot it there didn't they yeah 
and so they have Game of Thrones, the old Game of Thrones shopping, you know. <laughs> yeah, you can but get- I mean, they probably also had tours to all the places where they shot oh, yeah. it and so on. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't. I wasn't a Game of Throner, so I didn't. We didn't do any of that. But we, you know, I like uh, chapels and things that had a part in the daily life and weekly life of the citizens. Yeah. Like, did they pass? You know, how did they worship? How did they sleep? How did they interact with each other? Did they? Were there a lot of coffee shops? That's the stuff I like to be a part of. And learn yeah. About. Was there a Starbucks there? There are some Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I did not go to that. I did not uh, well, well, indulge in the Starbucks. Well, you see, the problem with this world is now it's all became come the same world. It's so. You know, yeah, if you can go to Croatia, okay, yeah. and. You know, Starbucks, boom, boom. China, do you know what the number one franchise is in China? McDonald's. Kentucky Fried Chicken. (laughs) KFC. (laughs) When I was over there, they had over 3,000 outlets in China, and I think they're up to about 5,000 now. Wow. And we Um, were in a, we went into a small town, we went to a small area called Gulen, and we thought about going to the we were passed by the kfc but we didn't go in and i wish we did because we were looking for a meal and it was pretty hard to find i don't know why we were having a hard time finding a meal and uh we could have gone into there and what they serve is beijing duck oh yeah among other things yeah yeah Yeah. fried beijing duck (laughs) you know (laughs) Do you like your Beijing duck original or extra crispy? Extra crispy. <laughs> well, that's what when you and I went into a McDonald's just for the same reason, to see how it was different. Well, we, we, uh, in Spain, uh, here's what you find when you go to a McDonald's anywhere in the world. Do you know how there's that McDonald's smell when you walk in the door? Yeah. You know yeah. the McDonald's smell? The and minute. Yeah. They're all like, you yeah. know, if you go to the outposts of Italy or the outposts of Kentucky. If you want to feel like you're home, just go to a McDonald's in any country, walk in the door, and it smells just like any McDonald's anywhere in the world. As long as it's not that Dollar General smell. I hate that Dollar General smell. I don't go to Dollar in General? Yeah, it smells like doom and despair. Oh, <laughs> just, because I've never been to a Dollar General. Don't go. Don't go. What I'm is the, I assume the Dollar General sells general stuff for a dollar. No, no. That's where you would be wrong. They didn't want to be bound to the dollar. Uh, just like Motel 6. What's that about? Nobody realizes that when Motel 6 started, rooms were six bucks. Yeah. And so they, you know, everybody's jumped on that you have below five, which is everything below five dollars, till inflation hits and then they raise their prices. They have done that at Dollar Tree. To which I do like. It's got a bad smell too, but um, <laughs> like cheap cosmetics, like fragrance and artificial fragrance. And, but I, I do like my Dollar Tree for their candy, lots of candy, and I love sugar-free caramels. And then what well, you else? just said you didn't like going into the Dollar General. <laughs> no, no, not Dollar General. Dollar Tree. Oh, Dollar oh. Tree is different than Dollar General. Oh, different as apples and oranges. You know, this yeah. is how this is how Midwest she is. That I know. We didn't have any of these in California. Come on. I bet they have Dollar Tree now, though. But things are a dollar and a quarter. It just doesn't have the same ring. <laughs> dollar and a quarter tree. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait a minute. I have been. It's been bait and switch. I'm baited by Dollar Tree, and then I find out things are a dollar and a quarter. <laughs> but it's still a great place if you need something, something kind of esoteric, some off the, off the wall, like super glue or something you're going to use once. Yeah. Rather than go to, you know, certain big box craft stores, go to Dollar Tree. You're just going to use it once or twice. And they have like, you know, any of those kind of items. Now, now, now you, you showed a certain disdain for Dollar General. No, no, I don't like Dollar General. Well, now, why to... don't you like Dollar General? What is wrong with Dollar General that the Dollar Tree provides? Well, Dollar Tree has wider aisles, which I like. Really? And, yes, and I think higher ceilings. But I have realized in, in my age that I am a little bit claustrophobic. And, and, than... and you're getting shorter. 
That's it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Osteo <laughs> is like, you know, it's probably like 6'12", you know, seven feet to some. And now I'm, you know, the size of a, what, a stepladder. You know, but I just it, don't understand. I, I just don't understand if both places sell stuff for about a dollar. Okay. Girl, though, they don't, they'll sell things for twelve ninety eight. Oh, okay. But anyway. That being the case, one's called Dollar General, one's called Dollar Tree. Right. And one is definitely better than the other because the concept I, of the store is exactly the same. Well, but Dollar General is like a, to me, it's like a fake Dollar Tree because things are not <laughs> It's a pseudo Dollar Excuse Tree. Excuse me, I'm from California. I don't know this Midwest crap. Oh, yeah, but uh, Dollar, they even have one in my hometown now, they have a Dollar Tree. Happy days are here again for toothpaste. Dollar, yeah. dollar and a quarter for a tube of toothpaste, or you can pay three dollars at your local supermarket. So I always hit Dollar Tree first. I don't even wear a disguise or anything. Mm -hmm. I probably waltz into Dollar Tree. I'm here to get good things cheap. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, uh, uh, there are there were franchises that existed in parts of the country that don't exist elsewhere. For instance, the one that I never saw in California was Stuckey's. I did never see there ma mainly a highway interstate. I think concerned. But you southern the states, law. southern states. Yeah, the home of the pecan law. The pecan log. I yeah, the pecan log. yeah. <laughs> in fact, I was going to build a house out of pecan logs. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> brilliant. Because I guess you could shellac them and paint them any color. Any color you want to. Yeah. Right. A pecan log house. Yeah. That's what Bob needs. Yeah. Barbenheim. But uh, I uh, I never knew from Stuckey's till I traveled through the South. And, oh. And, and then they were everywhere. Yeah. Now there's a better one. Bucky's. 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 Yes. I've heard of Bucky's. Oh, Bucky's is great. It's oh, oh, okay, huge. now here we go. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Now like, wait a minute. Let me back off. Okay. Yeah. Because we were already confused by Dollar General and Dollar uh, Tree. Dollar now, Tree is the real. Now you got Stuckies, and you got Bucky's. Right. And Stuckies is outre. Bucky's is it's got everything. It's like grocery store you know how those those um re rest stop or yeah. gas station places they gouge you you know oh two cashews for 5.98 yeah right uh, so, and uh, yet it's in fact bucky's in some like odd odd way reminded me just a little teeny bit of trader joe's they had it had a trader joe's i wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised if trader joe's had an influence on the way Bucky's is set up, mm -hmm. and uh, Bucky's you can get nearly everything. You might even be able to get showers there. Showers? And, yeah, because it's more of a full tilt without the price gouging. Now, you're still going to pay more, but Bucky's, Bucky's is superb. Bucky's is superb. <laughs> okay. The, this traveler on Bucky's. Bucky's versus Stuckey's. Now, Stuckey's, on the other hand, is basically just a, a little treat store, right? It's got the pecan logs and the... Overpriced fruit and, and about like 10 different Slurpee flavors and coffee. Yeah, this is you know, stuff you would... Actually, it's Stuckey's is stuff you would want for the road. You know, yeah. stuff you would put in your cup holder. Yeah, right. Or now, good example. There is, uh, and you can either, like smart travelers, either take like a bag of cashews that you know you got from planters, just pour them into a bag and take them with you. Or if you don't want to be gouged, you can stop at Bucky's, which has a little more normal prices since you're too busy ready for your trip to take the grocery, you know, get from the grocery store where your prices are yeah. less. You stop at Bucky's and it's not quite as expensive as pilots and things like that. And okay, so how does this all play into, say, 7-Eleven? 7-Eleven has been replaced in many parts of the country by Casey's. By especially Ca Casey's? And Casey's. Boy, you are such a, a, a um, uh, how can I, an expert on this subject. Oh, but then I told totally you. 7-Eleven has been replaced by Casey's. I never heard yeah. of that. Yeah, um, case I think Seven Eleven was more popular at one point than mm -hmm. the eastern, eastern uh, areas. Yeah, and then, but Seven uh, Eleven was 
thought of as a metro convenience store because they always advertise them. They, you know, and we had them in Chicago, in mm-hmm. Illinois, but we didn't have many downstate at all. And so then we had Casey's came in. And the thing is, too, that Casey's has really good pizza. So people who live in a town with a Casey's will go for cigarettes, tobacco, and alcohol at but, Casey's. Wait and a minute. Pick, the Seven Elevens became Casey's, or they just kind of no, replaced no. the Casey's? It, it replaced the Seven Eleven. Yeah, there. Um, and then there was another upstart called Something Pantry. Something Pantry uh, that was owned by the Southland Corporation. Yeah, my husband has stocks. I just look at the ones that kind of affect the culture, what we're buying, what we're eating, how we're traveling. I love yeah. that stuff. And so then Casey's started making inroads. And we had one in Des Moines, Iowa, like, or in Suburban. Mm-hmm. And I think Casey's is less popular in the urban areas, but they, I guess they have them. And then Casey's is more popular in the rural or suburban area. Oh, oh okay. Casey's, Pizza. So is there, is there anything we're leaving out here? Oh, let me see, because this is one of my favorite topics. I think that we've covered, you know... I mean, you're the, real the, Midwest, you know, you know this stuff. Me, I grew up in California. Basically, right. we just, we had, for instance, we had a thing called Foster's Freeze. <gasps> yeah, now, we had Dairy Queen. Oh, Dairy Queen, I love well, it. Foster's I'm, Freeze came before Dairy Queen, and basically yeah. it was the same thing. It was aerated uh, ice cream. Yeah, yeah. and But Dairy Queen tastes like nothing else in the world, I think. And I will drive... Uh, I actually, remember Foster's as being pretty damn good when I was growing up, but then again, I was a kid, and kids don't really have great taste buds. Right, you not just... But yeah, like my mom can tell a dairy, I can tell a dairy queen from another ice cream. Really? But yeah. oh, yeah, I grew up on dairy queen. And we actually, once my husband and I had a map of all the dairy queens in Mississippi. <laughs> so we were going, <laughs> okay, we're coming up on one, 10 <laughs> dairy, dairy Queen, I don't know if we have one in Manhattan. I wouldn't doubt that you don't. You know. Yeah, because first of all, they're way disappearing, um, and they used to be kind of a hometown place. Yeah. Now they've replaced my lovely hometown, center of town, two blocks from the courthouse, uh, Dairy Queen, with this thing out by the interstate that it's a chill and grill or, a, you know. <laughs> chill and, and grill? Yeah, but uh, a chiller griller. You can get burgers, yeah. and you can get ice cream. I just prefer the kind that just serve ice cream. Hmm. But none of them are like that anymore. Yeah, I remember always that they would put the Foster's Freeze or the Dairy Queen kind of in the center of town. It was yes. like a, it was a destination for, I think, every kid in the area. Totally. When we were in high school, a, you know, a day without a stop at the Dairy Queen, because you could get a, get a little baby cone, where you could get, you know, like a monster thing, a monster milkshake. Yeah. And they didn't call them that. But now they have the blizzard, which kind of... Oh, I love them. the blizzard. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Me be, a, me be a blizzard guy. Yeah. yeah. And Dairy Queen is pretty fast. They're, you know, because to their credit, which I guess how much time does it take to go to a soft serve machine and put something in a cone? The only but, thing that is the competitor for Dairy Queen and we do have them in New York City like crazy, are the ice cream trucks that oh, serve the soft serve. We didn't have them. With the song that they play continually. I can't, I can't even remember it, but it, they, oh, it's on a loop. You yeah. know, and they go up and down the block. When the kids hear that sound, they, they haven't changed that music in 40, 50 years. And the no, reason they haven't is because when kids hear that song, they know the ice cream truck is nearby, and they should run looked, over the... It's their form of advertising. Oh, yeah, just like Mrs. Fields. Were they, or is this a modern myth? Was Mrs. Fields involved in a lawsuit which complained about that, how you could smell Mrs. Fields' cookies? Yes, yes. Yeah. And they decided because what that, they would do is they would actually... They had a thing that would send the smell of the cookies out to the street. Yeah, if you smell a chocolate chip cookie, you have to have. Yes, a- exactly. And they, they and they finally, I think, were asked to stop that. That that was considered. It wasn't considered illegal, but you know. But it was yeah. What 
folkways to mores to laws it was considered bad manners i guess well it looks like, looks like we've run out of time here for this little episode oh. of alex and Lori, but we'll do another one next week i guess uh, because we'll probably record yeah. we'll probably record it right after this one but let's not <laughs> ruin the magic of, of of the internet thank you so much it is my pleasure ladies and gentlemen Lori thompson now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there was Lori. That was actually a repeat, to tell you the truth. It was from way, way back when we first started doing these things. And the reason why uh, we, uh, we played that was because Lori couldn't record this week when we had to. Uh, because she was asked to substitute for somebody on a local radio station. So we'd rather see her work than do this. So anyway, what will happen is uh, it will all work itself out, and he'll, she'll be back next week with a brand new episode. Okay? All right. Now, uh, am, I, is my, am I out of sync there? I can't tell. Anyway, all I've got here waiting is Charlie Wallace. Uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, I guess we can, we can talk to Charlie and we can hope that other people uh, will call. Uh, let me just uh, go here and say hello to Charlie. How are you, Charlie? Charlie, are you there? Oh, he's still connecting his audio. There he is. Are you there? There we go. There you go. Okay. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Yeah? Yeah, finally the hot weather went away. Really? The hot weather is yeah, really here. The hot weather is really here like crazy. So, you know, uh, we're, you know, um, um, we're, we're in the midst of it. There's, uh, there's Jeff. We can only see half of Jeff. Kilroy was here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. The hot weather is really here. Oh, okay, there we go. Weather is really here, like crazy. So you know, uh, we're, you know. Uh, uh. There you go. You got it. I think you got it. I got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. And uh, now, if you can just get your face in there, there you go. Okay. And here comes. <laughs> Why is everybody in the Brian and Harry. Is that better? Yeah, well, that's better. You're now uh, like we're looking skinny? at you through a slat in a fence, but you know. Do I look like do I look skinny? Oh. You look skinny. Why are you? Like oh, oh, I see. Because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I, I can't. I wish I, I could do you, that. I saw you alone with Charlie, so I had to call before you hung up. <laughs> I was going to rant on about the Cowboys. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Good thing you joined in, huh? <laughs> okay, I'm going to go on mute. Bye. Why are you going on mute? Because I'm, I'm exercising. I'm at, I'm at the hotel gym, so. You were at the oh, hotel yeah. gym? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, I'm in Sunnyvale tonight because we have a big meeting tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and I'm not going to drive an hour and a half in, in the morning just to be here. So I'm staying here tonight. So you're you're at the gym in the hotel. How long yeah. How long are you going to be in the gym? For an hour. For an hour. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're just going to see you working out, right? Yeah, I'm taking the Ray Renati. Uh, yeah, Ray used to do that. <laughs> It's the Ray Renati Show, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> starring Brian Neary. Yeah, what do they call it when the, the actor can't make it so then the substitute actor does that? But oh, the part of, uh, the, the part of Ray Renati tonight is being played by Please. Brian Neary. Brian Neary, yes, there we go. <laughs> yeah, oh well, okay. Oh, God, I've been tired all day. I have no idea why. <laughs> How's the weather? Alex, how's the weather right now? Because um, right I'm now, going in the next right month. now at uh, what is it? Eleven oh five at night. It is eighty two degrees. Mm. Is it humid right now? Is it still really uh, humid there? I think it's humid. Yeah. Oh, but, you think? But, oh, yeah, never well, mind. I've you got the off. air conditioning on in here, so I I assume <laughs> it's 
you know, humid. It's yeah, humid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I hate the humidity. But yeah. was the humidity stays until like October, like September, October? No, until December, <laughs> and then it starts up in January again. But, oh my God. No, excuse me. That's Houston, Texas. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we don't know about humidity in uh, California. Really? Really? Well, no. Wait a minute. Do you know about humidity? I used to get some humidity in San Francisco, like no. around September. We we pay taxes, extra taxes for that. Excuse me. I'm trying to find my soda. Where? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Ah. Hey, uh, Charlie, we did fantasy football picks, and my last pick I picked uh, is Gilo Elliott. <laughs> well, man, we have a great year for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, oh, got it. Anyway, uh, so how are how are you all doing? Did you have a nice weekend, uh, Brian? Yes. What did I do? Yeah, uh, Adrian had choreography for her new dance for jazz, so I took her to that on uh, Saturday, and then Sunday she had a birthday party, so I took her to that. <laughs> so her own, is it her own, her own birthday party? No, her oh. friend's birthday party, and then in between we went swimming all day. So yeah, good. Wow. Okay. That's so, so cool. Good job. Yeah. yeah. Good daddy. Good daddy. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and what did you do, Charlie? Well, I watched the Little League World Series this weekend. Oh, yeah. I watched a little bit of it myself. Because <laughs> the team from Texas was in it. Mm -hmm. Although they didn't make it to the final. They lost They lost to Florida in the semi. So. Yeah. And then Florida went on to win the whole thing. So, hey. Good. Yeah. Uh, that was an international thing, right? Yeah, they played the team from Taiwan or someplace like that. You know, people don't realize, but baseball, and I uh, admittedly probably softball as well, is very popular in Asia. Yes. Japan, Korea. And they I field some Taiwan. pretty strong teams. Yeah. Uh, now we don't let them. We don't let them play in the World Series here, right? They There's lots of Japanese players in the major leagues here. There are, but, but they don't suddenly say, "Okay, so why don't we let the uh, the uh, Asian nations no, compete no. as well?" So they must have their own leagues and their own World Series and so on. But now, how do you decide what is a World Series? whatever we call it, the World Series. When they called it the World Series, baseball wasn't anywhere else but here in the U.S. That was back, you know, when Babe Ruth was playing and stuff. Well, yeah. Shouldn't we call it the American Series now? Well, yeah, but what, what do you call it? The Miss Universe pattern? A pageant, rather? Miss Universe? And it's just here on Earth. So. Yeah, well, I never, I never liked Miss Universe because I didn't see Miss Mars in it, you know. <laughs> right. And how can you, you know, the only reason they called it Universe is because there was a Miss America contest and they wanted yeah. to up them one better. So they did, yep. you know, Miss Universe. Ah, big deal, big deal. You know. They could have said Miss Solar System and up them, but no, nah, they just had to go for the whole universe. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, was the woman with eight arms win over the woman with six arms? <laughs> yeah. It's a good Depends uh, on the boobs, good, I guess. Good question. And what did you do this weekend, Alan? Um, suffered through the worst allergy season I've ever had. Oh, no. Uh, still going on in the Bay Area. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. There um, he is. There he is. And then I'm waiting for my dinner, which is supposed to be here an hour ago, but it's on its way, so. What kind I of food did you order? Chicken. Fried chicken. Oh, okay. So you're going to eat it while you're on the show? Yeah, but I'm going to block the uh, video. Why are you going to block the video? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You want to watch? Me well, wait. Check? What's his, we have? What's the debris in Malaysia is always eating when he comes yeah, on our well, show. Well, that, that's why I don't do it. I rarely eat on the show because it's rather uh, Bree or Brian that's eating, and so you know, it's distracting. Yeah, it's distracting, and so I'll just I'll well. Kill but the this, video. you know, this is dinner time for a lot of people. You know, this time oh. of night, but. 
of course, we, it, for us old people, dinner time is seven, four o'clock in the afternoon. You know. I recognize that color scheme of the uh, gym there, uh, Motel Six, right, Brian? <laughs> What? No, it's it was some kind of red, some kind of background there. Yeah. yeah. Well, Motel 6 is red. Well, I don't know. Uh, uh, the Radisson Inn. Radisson Inn. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, anyway, we, were, we, we, finally, uh, we finally are going to take our one of our vacations. Yeah, sure. Well, where are you Where's going? Happening? Uh, we're going to Paris. Nice. Uh, we're going uh, on in November. November. We're going November seventh because we want to leave after the election. And it's yeah, it's yeah. Marjorie's it's Marjorie's birthday, so she wanted to spend her birthday in Paris. But we aren't going to be spending her birthday in Paris because we're going to be here, waiting for the election to happen. Oh. Well, you know, so, it's a good time to leave after the election. The riots start. Yeah, no I get out of town before the ride. It's a good right? time to get out of town. Yeah, but anyway, so my, so, birthday, is November, my birthday is November 9th, and I've never been to Paris. Just, just a hint. You know, it's been years <laughs> since I have spent any time outside of the United States. You know, it's been about 10, 11 years, and uh, I haven't traveled in a long time. You, re it's gotten expensive. Mm. Ah, don't worry about it. You got plenty of money. I know. We're going to spend, only going to spend about. And take it with you is what my mother says all the we're, time. We're only going to spend about ten grand on this thing. So, you know, we're only going for about four days, five days, something like that. Six wow. days. I don't know. Hopefully, you're flying first class. No. No. Hey, you know, my my argument about that is it's only a six hour flight from here. Yeah, it's, except for you get there first if you're in first class. Yeah, but, you know, uh, if there's a plane crash, you hit the ground first. That's true. <laughs> uh, you know, I'll, I'll bet that you hit the ground about 30 minutes before the emergency equipment happens. Yeah, but anyway, so, uh, uh, you know, so we're going to, do, we're doing, uh, let's see, what is it? We're, we're doing uh, uh, something... Uh, oh boy, what's it called now? Uh, uh, accelerated something or? Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I told him that I'm going to be eating. His food is here. His food, yeah. You can tell his food is here now. I'm going to kill the audio also. I'll oh. be listening. Okay. So yeah. Okay. Fine. I'm trying to remember how, what 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 were we going to fly? What uh, what uh, what uh, what was our. Um, Flight. I can't remember now. Uh, Too bad they don't have the Concorde anymore. Huh? Get there real fast. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. It's. Uh, it's. Uh, I wrote it to my business manager. I told him what we were flying, and we're going uh, premium coach, which uh, ain't cheap. <laughs> you know, premium coach is expensive too. Yeah. So it's amazing how much it costs. I mean, it's going to cost what seventeen hundred bucks a person for coach. That well, that's what first class used to cost. Premium coach. Oh, wow. yeah. No, 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 crap. Yeah, absolutely. That's why I'm saying I haven't traveled in a long time, and I suddenly realized wow. how expensive it is. And the hotels for four, five days is going to cost us four days is going to cost us something like. Uh, uh, five grand, you know, not not cheap anymore, not cheap anymore. So, anyways, but uh, you know, we got it. So, what the hell, you know? It's just a matter of we're also taking out insurance because of my health. So we, <laughs> and her health too, for that matter. Uh, and uh, you know, I hope I'm able to walk around and do what I want to do when I'm there, but. Otherwise, I'll just sit in the hotel room and watch a bunch of French TV shows that I won't understand. So, you know. Um, Jeff, what did you do this weekend? Anything uh, interesting? Well, we've been trying to figure out how to drive around here and how to get there. What do you mean? Because, uh -oh. well, the roads have been destroyed. 
because of that flood system. Oh, really? Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, they're flood. Yeah, and you can't get there. <laughs> you know, it's like you, we try to go to the bank. We couldn't figure out how to get there for three days. And then finally, they've been changing the different roads and trying to make them functional. Well, how do you how do you eat dinner? You order out and let them to try and get to you. Well, there is one from a different place that they're not where the flood was, and somehow they can get to our house. So I had them deliver. Oh, okay. That was one. Yeah. But the rest of them, the, the regular places, we couldn't figure out how to get them. Yeah. There were, a lot of them are just destroyed yeah Whoa. Hmm. you know all the rivers have been uh, overdug oh boy you know, the bridges don't work so yeah, yeah. so anyway it's, it's getting every day there's something gets a little better yeah and the other problem is some of the other roads which you could drive through all of a sudden now they can't they're working on it so they close it down so, you know, it's like you never know how to get there from here. That's and the, the computer systems are pretty good, but it's not really good. Yeah. So, I don't know. Alan was asking what, what the pollen was here. It's 10.6 is going to be our high tomorrow. Yeah. And the highest it goes is Crazy. 12. It goes 12. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the highest here goes twelve. Uh, Tony, have you been feeling the uh, the uh, the pollen at all? You know, actually, over the weekend it was pretty good. So I haven't, you know, I haven't really taken a tablet. I actually, but I actually was under the weather over the weekend. Uh, well, like last week, I think I got a, I had a little bit of a flu bug. I don't know. I think it's the heat too, Alex. I was doing a lot of walking, and the humidity today was terrible. I mean, I came home, I showered. I didn't even go back to FedEx. I was just like, I just rested for the rest of the day. I'm tired of the heat, really, myself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I mean, mean, as you I, get older, I can't, I can't tolerate it as much as I used to. I'm very tired today. Uh, I've been tired for the last couple of days, and I think it has to do with the pollen, you know. Yeah. And I'm sneezing like crazy, and my eyes are tearing. And uh, do you feel tired, Alan? Yeah. Yeah. See. Uh, you know, I just, I just, I, we just want the weather to settle already. Enough is enough. Okay. Well, I think Manhattan is always a little bit more moist. Not really. You know, it's been humid you have here. A lot of trees or... It's been humid here and it's been. Yeah, the, the humidity was bad today. Yeah, yesterday yeah. we were walking, we went and walked to the restaurant and then came back. Yeah. And I was, I was short of breath. And I, mm. I don't think it had to do with the fact that I'm out of shape, which I am. Mm. But I try to stay out of shape because as opposed to Brian there, I feel that <laughs> your that your like body me. the bat body right. will last longer if you don't wear it out, see. So anyway, so I, that's why I don't exercise. But anyway, I was wheezing. I was like uh, short, short of breath, and I suddenly realized it's the pollen, you know. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, but we, I, you know, I walked a mile yesterday, big deal, you know, but uh, mm -hmm. it's cane time for me now. Thank you for the cane, Alan. You're, you're very welcome. Let me know when it wears out. I'll send you another one. Well, the, well, I still have the one you sent Marjorie, and she didn't use that. Okay. okay. Well. She doesn't really use a cane much, okay? I do. Um uh, and I do it. I was was doing it because I didn't want to fall. Uh, but probably now, take one with you to Paris. The, oh, yeah. For, uh, like I'm going to leave one home. You yeah. Know. But uh, I was thinking of getting myself like a fancier cane. You know, something with like a lion's head on it or something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. But I'll let you know if I need more. I know where to get them. You just go over to Amazon, and they're like, what, 19 bucks or something? It's yeah. really, really cheap, you know? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Do you have a cane yourself, uh, uh, Charlie? Yes, yes, because every once in a while, my knee will go out. 
Oh, okay. Where does it go? <laughs> Somewhere fun, I hope. <laughs> it's having more fun than you are. Yeah. Well, what does your shirt say there? That's not a good sign. It says bad. Oh. <laughs> Uh, you kind of you kind of gotten away from the scientific shirts, have you? Uh, I, every once in a while, I'll do something different. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, 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 politics are, uh, are are moving right along. Yeah. You know, uh, today uh, Trump was in trouble again. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, he went out to uh, he he went out to Arlington National Cemetery. Oh, shit. To do a photo op, basically. Yeah. Uh, and what was he trying to? Who was he trying to honor? The the guys who died in Afghanistan or something. You know, this from a guy who never spent one day in the military and got out of the military with bone spurs. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, you don't go to cemeteries for photo ops. That's kind of a well. Uh, you don't go to this. Especially that one, yeah. This yeah, uh, to Arlington National Cemetery, because you're not allowed to do photo ops there. It's actually against the law. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, so uh, they went there with their all their contingent and their their cameras, dragging their cameras along because he he wanted to get a picture of him putting a wreath up there, you know. Yeah. And uh, they said you can't do that. You can't take pictures. And they said, why? And they said, this is, especially this area here is a no photography area. You're not allowed to take pictures in this area. And then the people who were with Trump started, what, literally slugging the people, uh, hitting them? or He's pushing them, yeah. Pushing them and doing all kinds of things to them. And uh, once again, it's another... Uh, I don't care oh, about the military. I don't. I, yeah. They're only if they're a photo op. They're a photo op, oh, and that's all yeah. they're good for me as. You know. Yes. Yes, Charlie. Uh, Charlie. I'm reading. A, I'm reading a thing. I just googled uh, t uh, Trump going to the cemetery, and an article came up. It's a legitimate article, and they're saying, you know what he did, Trump? Trump, in the strangest of these pictures, the former president is smiling and giving a thumbs up. By the grave of a marine. Oh, God. This thumbs guy's up. A thumbs, a thumbs up. up. The guy's dead. I mean, really. He's dead. <laughs> they going to vote for this guy? Yeah, yeah. Like, Aren't they a bunch of like, losers? Aren't they a bunch of losers because they died? Yeah, right? he called them losers and suckers. Oh, I'll put them on his grave and give her a thumbs up tomorrow. Oh, come on. Charlie, hit me with a trick. You know, uh, 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 Trump is amazing. Just amazing, and what I don't—I'll tell you what's more amazing than Trump. Anybody that would vote for him, exactly. <laughs> you know why? I mean, come on, you know, it isn't. Uh, it, it, aren't there some other people running for president you could vote for? You know, I mean, just amazing, just amazing. I heard that Kennedy's sister or something or daughter. Yes. You're an asshole. You're embarrassing the whole family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think it was his sister. Yeah. I had. A, I thought I had a funny joke, but I, is it? Is this funny, Alex? He's the oh. only Kennedy nobody wants to shoot. Really? Is that too much? <laughs> yeah, it would that be funny or no? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, you already right. will. You already willed somebody to shoot. I was watching Amazing Randy tonight. I gotta tell you that it was a documentary, so he's making me laugh. <laughs> yeah. What were you gonna say? Uh, uh, I was just saying Tony's. Tony's <laughs> already had sense. his will, and somebody shot at Trump. <laughs> I will. I'm willing. <laughs> That's like what? Well, he lit you know, That's I, the amazing I, part. I just, I just find it amazing. That that anybody would vote for this guy, okay? Period. Mm. Uh, yeah. I mean, at this point, I mean, he's just gotten so off the wall. I mean, you believe in the military? Fine. This guy has said terrible things about the military. You know. Then Kamala said something about it today, mm. and uh, Vance told her to go to hell. Oh and yes, Vance told her to go <laughs> to hell. Media. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's really nice, uh, Mr. Uh, Vance. Uh, yeah, that's real. 
Yeah, is that uh, your religious person? Uh, uh, is it Senator Vance? That's hard to believe, isn't it? It is. I would like to see Kamala. I'd like to see Kamala in a in a match, you know, with those, you know, the big those big Q-tip looking things, you know, her and uh, Trump and Vance both together. Well, you know what I don't get. She should beat them both up. Yeah, I'll tell you what I don't get is everybody is doing this whole thing about. She won't let the press interview her. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> well, so what? You no. know, the, you know, the only people that are complaining about the fact that she won't let the press interview her are the press. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I mean, who cares? I don't think there's any reason why, uh, why, they, why they should. Uh, She's doing the same What? Wait a minute. One at a time. I'm just just saying, you're, you're, you're going to hear the same stuff when she starts. You know, when she starts, she's going to be talking. <clears throat> she's, she has debates coming up that she wants to talk her opinions. Why does she have to keep the same old stuff? I mean, when Trump starts talking and he starts drifting, you know exactly what he's going to say. You know exactly what he's going to do. Same, same old stuff. They, uh, they, they're trying to act like she has no policy, like she has no this, that she's not capable of doing the job. And it's like, that's already done, right? Well, he, you know, he, I, actually, I don't think he wants to do the debate. No. You know. No, he doesn't. But, but if he doesn't, he's going to be look. It's going to look really bad if he doesn't. And and she'll be there, and he won't be. Yeah, I mean, she'll show up. You know, she's willing to show up. And I, also, I don't know why they make a big deal out of out of uh, out of debates. I wasn't aware that whoever wins a debate makes the better president. Right. You know, right. I, if you want to audition a president, I don't know, start a war someplace and then tell them to put out the fire, you know? Uh, but, I mean, y y how can you tell somebody, uh, don't, uh, you know, we've got we've to have a debate here. Why? What, what's the importance of a debate? What does it prove? And well, I'm, and I'm case, saying that knowing full Donald well Williams. she's going to make mincemeat out of him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. Did you see where, where Trump said that he's the best president in the world for the uh, military? In fact, the Civil War soldier came up to him and told him how great he was. That's what Trump <laughs> said. No, no, no. He, he didn't great. say that. Did he say that? I mean. Yes, he did. <laughs> A yeah. civil war. He's gonna make sense about, about that. Wait a minute. I, soldier came up and tell him how great he was as president. I don't exactly believe that. They really. I, I, I heard it on the news too. Actually, he's doing a lot of work. Yeah, I heard it on the news. A civil <laughs> war. A civil war. A civil war. A soldier. soldier. Maybe he sees people. Yeah. He's probably he's like and, a. And Biden's the one that had to drop out of the race. Jeez almighty, you know, uh, if, yeah. if he said that, I mean, come on, this is... A good how, old, how old was that guy? How old did that guy have to be? <laughs> come come on. On. Well, he would have to be uh, 100 and then another 50, you know, about 170 yeah, years old. 270 years yeah, 170, no problem, right? Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's amazing. Oh, it's amazing. If he said that, I'm I'm amazed. Where did you read that? Yeah. You know. I saw it online. You know, it's amazing that all the people that have been pro-Trump in the past are also kind of anti-Trump now. Except yeah. Phil Meyer. If Phil stuck. Yeah, he's going with God. Well, he's I don't know what Phil thinks <laughs> because I haven't talked to him in so long. You know. Why does he still think he's okay? He thinks he's the greatest thing since a slice of bread. Hey, he thinks Vance is good. <laughs> really? No. Oh boy. No oh, really. Well. Is it more of a cult of personality with him? Now we're we gonna step back. Let's say Alex Trump loses God thanked, hopefully. Do you think we're gonna look back in this and say five years and say, like the people who like Trump are gonna say, you know what? What was I thinking really at that point? No, no, Phil will never admit he's wrong. That's really? for sure. Yeah, he will never admit he's wrong. 
you know, the, the, you know, I mean, this is a this is a guy who uh, who just goes against everything that's right. You know, and I I can't see how anybody who calls themselves let's for a second calls themselves a Christian, for instance, can even put up with Trump. Yeah. You know, and I feel sorry for those people because they should have somebody to vote for, and they probably don't like Kamala that much. But you know, you have to admit that from a moral standpoint, she's a much more moral choice than uh, than Donald Trump is. Donald and Trump she, is almost the antichrist. What? She wanted to open up the mics at the at the at the uh, you know at the, the debate, and Trump said, "I don't think I'll go to start with." Why would he not want the mic open? Well, he was the, the one that wanted the mics open in the first place back right. when they were you know negotiating right. this whole thing. And now that she says, "Okay, we'll let you keep the mics open," he doesn't want to keep the mics open. Yeah, I don't get it. But he wanted it open against Biden. He doesn't want it open against Harris. Yeah, because he knows he's going to get his ass handed to him. Well, he's going to get his ass handed to him either way. You know, yep. I mean, come on here. You've got a woman who was a prosecutor, okay? And now you're asking her to go into a place where she has to argue her point of view? Come right. on. You know, that's what she yeah. studied to do. Yeah, and deal with liars, right? Somebody who's lying yeah. about their case, Well, he studied... Right? He, and criminal. He, he's he's a studied. criminal, too. Well, he studied to be a felon. <laughs> so, you know, it's the felon versus the uh, the prosecutor. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, who's going to win in that match? You know what's going to be funny? He says, I'm for law and order. She's me, too. That's why you're going to jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's bizarre world when you hear him. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. It's uh, it, it. He's actually running as a law and order candidate. <laughs> he's and he's got thirty-four felonies. Oh, by the way, while we're at it, we got to do something about this fucking Supreme Court. Did you hear what they did? I know. Did you hear what they passed today? Mm-hmm. No. They're what? against Biden's uh, 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 what oh. do you call it? Relief oh, for student debt, student really? debt the program. New one? Yeah. They voted against oh, it. God. Yeah. They said no, it's not they voted against it. They just said for the time being we're we're uh, 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 putting a halt to it. So they're putting it on hold until they make a final ruling and then that could be in 10 years or something for all we know. Well, uh, uh let's just hope that she becomes president and that she yeah. immediately puts in a larger Supreme Court and has the uh, yeah, you know, the true. Congress and the Senate to back her up on it, you yeah. know. And then I think we can probably turn that whole thing around. Uh, I'm not saying well, that we should... It look good about Ted Cruz getting kicked out. It doesn't look Colin good? The blind Ted, remember? <laughs> Colin All- Allred is, is looking better and better. Oh, you say it's yeah. looking good that he's going to lose? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean... Cruz is running scared. But you have another problem, don't you, in Texas now with some law they tried to pass or something? They're, yeah. they're, they're trying to prevent the, the uh, Latinos from voting. Yes, really? they are. As usual. I mean, geez. Yeah. So. That's Ken Paxton, who should be in prison. Yeah, who, who should be a felon himself, but I don't know how he keeps scooting by. Yeah, yeah. Give the Mexicans uh, guns and uh, have them go visit Paxton. No, let's not go that far. Yeah. Why not? This guy's a piece of... Violence is the answer. I don't want to laugh about that. You know, the, it was the Republicans yeah. in Texas that, that impeached Paxton. Really? But he, he just didn't get convicted. Oh, Okay. But, Right. The Republicans were so pissed off at him that, that they went after him. Well, now, who, now uh, uh, Cruz is being run. Who's running against Cruz again? His name is Colin Allred. He's uh, he's in the House of Representatives, but uh, he's running for the Senate this time. And they say that he looks good to win? Yeah, it, 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 uh, within the margin of error, last cold poll I saw was it was, it was tied. At forty-four, forty-four, or something like that. So. Yeah, yeah. 
somebody named, somebody <laughs> named Alan on your show donated to him already. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I mean, up. Every time a poll comes out, he's doing that. I wouldn't be surprised if the next poll has him ahead of Cruz. People don't like Cruz here anymore. I mean, he was... Uh, <laughs> they shouldn't have ever, the, the problem with Texas is they shouldn't have ever liked Cruz. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. He's the most hated man in the Senate anyway. I mean, no uh, no other senator likes him. Right. When that place was underwater, Charlie, remember he was in the airport leaving. Remember he was like, going on vacation. Yeah. yeah. He, only had the, 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 he had to be guilty the, to take the yeah. He was going to go to Cancun. Still <laughs> things in. Where are you going? I'm going to go on vacation. My, my city's falling apart. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll bring you back a souvenir. <laughs> See you later, suckers. <laughs> I mean, really? Yeah. Yeah. The grid went down and millions of people were without electricity. <laughs> Who does this? Amazing. Amazing. Amazing what we have for politics in this country. You know? Yeah. I mean, uh, uh, Oh, what I love it is everybody's so happy that RFK Jr. is 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 endorsing Donald Trump, <laughs> and Donald Trump may give him something in his uh, in his administration. Well, to begin with, uh, RFK Jr. is a laughing stock, and yeah. he's not going to add anything to Trump's you know election. So I, I you know I it's amazing. It's just so they, they say they can't take him off like the Wisconsin and there's a couple a couple states they can't take his name off so people are probably still vote for Kennedy. Yeah. <laughs> and will those votes go to Trump because he's endorsing Trump? I don't think so. I don't think so. No, no. Oh. No. I like the delegates. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, and and I, is Cheryl Hines going to leave him. <laughs> Oh, she's got to be embarrassed as hell. Didn't she threaten that if he backed Trump, she was going to leave him? I heard something to that effect. I heard rumors. But she did no. send out a letter, though, to everybody who was on his side, thanking them for his their support. You know, but I don't know. I don't think she can be. I I, I she can't possibly be a Trump person. I just don't no. believe it. No. You know. No. Of course she. Why'd she marry RFK Jr.? <laughs> yeah. Guy with Kennedy. worms in his brains yeah, he's who kills up. a bear and dumps it in Central Park. Did he? Oh, yeah. Didn't you hear about that one? Oh, you hadn't heard that? Yeah. Oh, man. No, is that true? Yeah. Yes, yeah. it's true. Now, he admitted it anyway. It's, it must be true. He says it's true. Oh, yeah. I think he dumped his brain in Central Park and the worm went about its business. Yeah. But I mean, that happened ten years ago, and he went yeah. on Roseanne's show, her podcast, and admitted it. Oh boy! Oh. Actually, it was a big story in New York ten years ago about this bear that was found in Central Park, yeah. and uh, it had just been an unsolved mystery until he came out and said he did it. And we thought Marion Barry was bad when he went to prison and then became <laughs> became mayor again in in DC. Yeah. Well, that was because he was a pretty good mayor. Yeah. That was the reason why. And, yeah. the, and the black community especially liked Marion Barry. Yeah. You know. I think the black community likes Kamala Harris. I think women like Kamala Harris. Yeah. And I think new, uh, people that have never been able to vote for her, a.k.a. college students, like Kamala Harris. And I think that's going to make a big difference in the election. Well, I think the one thing that's going to make a big difference in the election is not so much any of that, but just the mere fact that people are going to get out and vote who are <clears throat> Democrats who weren't going to get out and vote this time because they just nope. weren't invigorated by the choices they were given. And they yeah. didn't want to particularly, you know, they said, so what, Biden? I don't want Biden. I don't like Biden. You know, so there was this ennui that was going on, but now that's gone, and I think a lot of those Democrats are going to get out and vote for Kamala because, quite frankly, I mean, I don't have to vote for her, okay? Again, I live in New York. She's going to win here anyway, no matter they what I California. do or don't do. But I'll vote for her. I'll go, I'll go out, I'll go down the street and vote for her. Why? Uh, because I want to just make it add to those numbers, okay? to make her look good. 
because I'm enthusiastic about her. Uh, before, I didn't care, you know. Yeah, a lot of people. I mean, I, I'm just, hmm? I, I'm just happy to feel represented now because they have a white guy for Kamala group. <laughs> yep. They have a white guys for Kamala group. Yes, they do. I, I'm they do. so happy. I feel like I'm part of like the D and I culture now. I feel so diversified. You can finally feel good about being white again, right? Being white again. Yes. <laughs> you know, I don't think any black man though would have a would have a hat that says blacks for Trump. Okay. Yes, they did. <laughs> oh, there were there were blacks for Trump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They had signs behind him. They had signs. Black yeah. for Trump. So I, I think I must have been paid. Yeah, I'm gonna say I hope they got paid a lot of money. <laughs> no, but they put him in the right spot. They put him in the exact spot over his shoulder. They were holding. Would you really want to sit behind the two Alex after get almost getting assassinated? Why would you even sit there? Yeah. Like, you know, you're safe. No, I'm not coming into this thing. I don't care how much you're paying me. I'd stand next to him going a little further that way. <laughs> yeah. Do me a favor, Trump. Well, well now, now that when he goes out and he does speeches now, they have the whole, you know, vinyl plastic thing up. Yeah, yeah he looks like Robo Pope from uh, remember when the Pope yeah. guy they had him in like the, they had him in like a well, shield. Well, the Pope was in the yeah. Pope mobile. He was in yeah. a bubble when he came to New York in the 80, not watching yeah, it. He was also yeah, he was also in it when he went to Cuba. And nobody was trying to shoot him. Well, women, one guy did, didn't he? They didn't yeah. try to kill him. Yeah. Was like, oh, yeah. was they did, right? Was, was it a knife one, or a one gun? Guy that, I think but he came at him with a knife, didn't he? Or I something? think it might have been. A, I remember reading that in the paper as a kid. But you know, mm -hmm. you know what the Pope did that was really great? He went to the prison and met with the guy. Oh. To say he forgave him. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that meant a lot. No, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't put that down. That's kind of nice. Though, that was you? actually yeah. a very nice thing for him to do. Pope seriously well, he wouldn't... forgave him. He just didn't forget. That's right. <laughs> but no, but mm -hmm. he he really wanted to, uh, you know, to say, hey, you know, I I I I know know why he wanted to do it, but I want to let you know that I forgive you. Of course. Well, what do you think he's going to do? Is the Pope? Well, he doesn't have to do it. Well, he's not going to, like, flip him off when he sees him at the prison. <laughs> well, but he doesn't have to go you. to the prison. Yeah, no. He could have said it, like, in a press conference. Yeah, he could have done it in a press conference. <laughs> he didn't have to do yeah. it at all. You know. You so bitch. <laughs> honest, honest but, you yeah. know, if, if a pope can't be forgiving, who can be? Exactly. Yeah, you're right about that. You know? okay. So, I mean, you know, that's why I dug this pope, you know. Now, I don't know that I dig him as much as I used to, but, you know, he's not as hip that. as he used to be. Well, he's old. Yeah, and your point is? No <laughs> point. You want, you, want to, you want to argue that here? No. About old? We're all getting old. I think we're, with the exception of Tony, I feel all old. Over 50, and well, some just, of them are, are I'm 55. But it's just funny how, you know, when, when you saw the two together, you know, Biden and Trump, how old Biden looked. Yeah. And now when yeah, you see right Trump right. and you're going to see Trump next to Kamala. Oh, now my it's going to be seeing how old yeah. Donald looks. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, as I said, I've been saying, uh, what's his name? James Carville, uh, when he was like being it. interviewed, said in one oh, yeah. interview, he said that, uh, they said, who do you think should run against, you know, against Trump? Who could win against Trump? He said, anybody who's younger. Yeah. He's he smart. said, yeah. anybody who's younger can win against yeah. Trump. Mm -hmm. And yep. it's kind of looking, that's getting to be true. Because you compare yeah. her and the vigor that she has. Oh, and by the way, you know, they've been having a lot of arguments on these, these talk shows on MSNBC and so on. Don't you think it's an awfully short political season now? Really? And I'm going, Good. no, it's still too long. Yeah. You know? I mean, when I was a kid, you used to have a three-month thing. You had the convention, and then you started your, your going out and po politicizing and so on and getting votes. Yeah. Now it's two years? So, Camel, if you think about it, She's running like like a, a bat out of hell. 
because she can. She hasn't had to be running for the last two years. Yep. Otherwise, she'd be just as exhausted as Trump is now. But Trump hasn't got any energy left in him. I want to find he, Jack Smith's address so I can uh, mail him a Christmas card or something. He the, the, they charged Trump again over the over the weekend another. Uh, yeah. Whatever. Well, they, they just indicted. removed. They removed <laughs> some of the charges against him. Right. So as and to they come indicted and, him again. Yeah. Uh, so that they can't say that uh, you know uh, to come in line with the Supreme Court's thing. Right. Which basically says that, uh, you know, forget it, you know. I like the guy. <laughs> Jack Smith? Yeah. Well, he keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. Yeah. You yep. know. Uh, and he also put in uh, to, the, uh, to a court to vacate the judgment of the judge in uh, Florida uh, yep. about the fact that because he was never uh, elected to the job or something as being a, a federal... Yep. Uh, federal prosecutor that he 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 wasn't legally in in a position to do what he's done and he's claiming hey you know and this would then vacate every special judgment that has had to you know special yeah. what's the Can start. that whole thing should be overturned that's yeah. right yeah that you would have to overturn all those things if she was right mm -hmm. and uh, i think uh, a, a court will find her Tell her to go. And, you know why did they give it to her in the first time? In the first place, she, I mean, it's a, it's, she was a Trump appointee, so it's a conflict of interest right off the top. I think they wanted to do it for exactly that reason. Okay. I yeah. think they wanted to not be accused of any kind of favoritism, and it was her. It she was the next one in line to get the next th uh, trial, and so they gave it to her. And yeah, and Jack. they and they and and the the special counsel didn't argue it at all because they 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 wanted to see her have it because if she threw it out or whatever they could claim biasness they had a good argument you know right. so so she did and uh, they, she'll be rebuked you watch I mean she'll mm -hmm. really be rebuked I'm sure yeah, I, Jack Smith said while she was still I'm sorry. I have to blow my nose again. Go ahead. Jack Smith said while she was um, uh, still reviewing the case and had not thrown it out, that had this been done in a Washington court, this case would have been tried and over with. The guilty, not guilty, whatever. Yeah. But she drug her feet. Well, you know, I mean, it, 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 eventually, if, if, Trump do, if Trump doesn't get elected, He's going to get every book thrown at him. You know, he's going to be in court for years to come. Probably long after he's dead. He'll be selling Bibles at a discount. Yeah, mm. whatever, you know. Well, he's, he's selling something new. He's selling toys with his name on it. hundred bucks. <laughs> toys? What toys? I don't know. Like cars. Toy, toy cars? Yeah. Huh. I haven't seen them, but it was advertised right on the while we were in the car. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Anyway, you, know, you, know, you got to be right? careful with MSNBC in Connecticut. Not as much because this guy's name on it. Yeah, the big uh, the big headline on the uh, Drudge tonight is JD to Kamala, go to hell. <laughs> That's high class. This guy's a world class <laughs> leader. You know, I mean, he uh, he he doesn't know what he's doing. You know, I think I think if anything, he's gonna he's going to uh, ensure that Trump doesn't win. Well, he's going to ensure that Trump doesn't win because if Trump wins and then something happens to Trump, guess who's president? Mr. Go to Hell. Right. You know. Look, I'm I'm not one who who says that, you know, in politics we should be nice and we should be we should not use this kind of language and so on. But quite frankly, I just think that we have to have some kind of decency. Yep. 
when we're politicking. Yep. Is, is Charlie dead? Or is he frozen? Or is he oh. asleep? Charlie? Charlie, are you awake? Yeah. He must be frozen. He must be frozen. I think that's frozen. Yeah. Either that or, or we've lost Charlie once and for all. You know. <laughs> that's nice. I'm sure he's okay. I have low bandwidth. Huh? Oh. Yeah, he... Oh. They kind of. Yeah. I can hear y'all. Y'all can hear me. Oh yeah, they, yeah. Oh, I was from, gonna you, call and see if I can get a heartbeat. Turn, turn your camera, Nothing? turn your camera <laughs> off, and then turn, turn your camera off. Oh, now there we go. Okay, you looked like you were dead. You were frozen, <laughs> and you looked dead. We figured we had lost you. You know. And, and the age of the people who call. Well, the age of the people who called this show. I have a low bandwidth. Really? Does it say you have low bandwidth? Yeah, so I don't, but y'all are doing fine. Y'all look fine. You're not frozen or nothing. Yeah, yeah, well, so He's anyway. too young to call it go. <laughs> Charlie? You be older than that. Well, and no. he's in the best health of many of us, Brian. Yeah, yeah. Once he lost it's the It's out there in that 110 well, degree weather and umpires yeah. and stuff. <laughs> yeah, what what is the temperature out there tonight today in Texas? I was saying it, it only got up to like ninety nine today, so it's, like, it's only up to ninety nine. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. And was it was one hundred and ten last week? Give oh, me a break. <laughs> was it really? I wouldn't leave the house. Yeah, that's what we've been putting up with the last month or so. And did you go out and play uh, baseball? <laughs> yeah, softball. I had to do four games in that. <laughs> are you are you guys out of your mind? They pay us for it. I mean, they're letting kids out of school at 90 degrees for crying out loud. Well, that's there. That's because y'all are wusses. We don't do that here. No. <laughs> over over in, uh, in Lathrop, near Lodi, they have kids out there, and it's blowing the wind, and it's like 100 de and oh. 102 degrees, and the kids are out there playing soccer. Yeah. It's cute. They're, they're used to the temperature. Hmm. Why would why would anybody? Oh well. Yeah. Because mm. Gabnet doesn't pay him enough to survive. <laughs> well, we'll have to take up a little Gabnet. Uh, uh, um, go fund me page. Go fund me. Oh. Uh, yeah. A go so Gabnet. A go Gabnet. Yeah. So, yeah. so ninety nine is a piece of cake. You'll be out there in ninety nine degree weather. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not for me. So I've been getting. Here's the thing. I I, I I don't get this. I've been getting robocalls, and then tonight I actually got a non-robocall. I actually got a human being trying really? to sell me lawn care. Uh, <laughs> you should have signed up for it. And <laughs> I've I've written them any number of times and said I don't own a lawn. Right. Oh, okay, we'll take you off our list. The next thing I know, they yeah. take me off their list, and I get a call from a live guy who said, we're calling about the uh, lawn care products. I said, I don't have a lawn. Leave me alone. <laughs> come, he to said, come over and oh, demo oh, it. Oh, so you don't, ha you don't have a lawn. Yeah. How yeah. about a garden pest thing? <laughs> and I went, I don't have garden no. pests. I'm sorry. You know? <laughs> Leave me the hell alone. Yeah, have, have him come over for a quote. That'd be funny. Yeah, That's right. yeah sure. Yeah, yes, yeah. I should have done that. I should have. Yeah, done that. Yeah, why don't you step outside the window here on the eighth floor yeah. and, and measure out my lawn? Yeah, yeah. You can tell him if you can find a lawn, you got the job. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, there is a there. We do have a garden. Oh, yeah, in down in our down in our uh, uh, patio. And what did we call it? The uh, Oh, it's a garden, a courtyard, the courtyard. We have a courtyard. We have a actually we have an apartment house with a hole in the middle of it. If you look on uh, Google Earth, uh, go look up, uh, you know, 1290, 1295 Seventh uh, Avenue, New York City, mm -hmm. and you'll see our building, and it's like got a big donut hole in the middle. And that's yeah. where the courtyard is. A lot, of a lot of buildings are built that Well, way. Yeah. not in New York anymore. No. Are you going to take a piece of property as big mm. as this one, 
yeah. c- cut a big hole out of the center of it and put a garden in there? No, space. you're going to fill the building the, built a hundred years ago. Yep, you're going to fill that up with 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 uh, the uh, apartment, apartments. Ten thousand dollars a month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but they, they can't do that because this that isn't the way this building can't be converted to that. Right. You know, uh, and they I don't think they can tear it down either. It's it's landmarked. It's pro- yeah, it's probably a historical landmark. It's it's a histo- It is historical landmark. When I was in New York in 1999, it amazed me how many businesses and offices I was on 8th Street. Uh, and you walk down 8th Street and they got the air conditioners hanging out the windows. Yeah. And I, you're, you're, you're 10 or 15 stories high. And I'm wondering how often those things cut loose and kill somebody. Oh, no. God. Well, uh, I have news for you. They don't. Good. They don't Good. because we have a law here. And we have to have a uh, kind of thing hanging out there that prevents them from falling. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. I was gonna say. What man, What happens is if, if you're doing any work on a building like you know, like they were doing with ours, you know, refacing mm. it and things like that, yeah. you got to put up scaffolding all the way around the mm. building so stuff doesn't yeah. fall off the building and hit people below. Uh huh. So half of New York is scaffolding now. Yeah. It's all yeah. Right. <laughs> And they're trying to Good now. Business s- to be in. Well, they're now trying to say if you're going to put scaffolding up, that's fine, but you can only have it up for so long. So you better get the work done, because there are there's scaffolding everywhere. We just lost the scaffolding on our building a couple of months ago, and it was up for about five years. Yeah. Wow! Now they're <laughs> going to want to raise your rent. <laughs> what to a dollar fifty? Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Sure. They'll do that. Anyway, boy, I'm telling you. Um, ah, well, between the hot weather and the allergies, uh, I'm glad this show is over and I can go to sleep. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been sleeping all. Well, I have to wait till uh, uh, Missy Amy is yeah. over with. But uh, you know. Hey, we got another show. Yeah, you got another. We got another show to do, and I gotta wait till that's over in order to post the show. Anyway, hey, uh, let me uh, let me see here. I think I'll just start playing the theme there. You you guys can hear it now. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. That's Isn't nice. that amazing. Leave it to me to be able to solve a problem after five years. Anyway, <laughs> you can go dancing. Huh? You can dance with music. Yeah, everybody, come on, dance. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Alan, you're such a deadhead there. You're just not moving at all. Come on, move to the music. Come on. There you go. There we like go. Donald Trump, you know? Do you hand oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the thing he does? Jerks off two people at one time. Yeah. You know, he stopped doing that because everybody was talking about it looking like he was jerking two guys off at the same time. Like a little kid. Bill Mars Probably how he learned it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, hey, listen, thank you, Jeff. Appreciate your participation this evening. And, uh, uh, of course, uh, Brian, uh, good having you here and watching you work out while we were doing the show. Now he's back in his room and is going to get something out of the mini bar. Cocaine and hookers. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful being single again? <laughs> <laughs> you can walk around his underwear. <laughs> well, I can still good get cocaine, and I can pretend like Marjorie's the hooker. Anyway, uh, uh, thank you so much uh, for being with us, Alan. Thanks to you, Tony. We always appreciate it, and of course, Charlie. Always wonderful having you here. Everybody, yeah. give a big wave goodbye. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just quickly. Here comes Don Giller. Just oh, no. Don Giller. Oh look, he that's the apartment. See? That's our apartment. Yep, you Thank you very much, Don. Everybody <laughs> give a big wave goodbye. And I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our citizen panel for this evening. Okay. And thanks to Don Giller for his last minute uh, jumping in here with a picture of my building. 
Anyway, uh, next is um, Amy Manuel. She's going to be here with the intersection. She'll be taking your calls on uh, 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 what do you call it uh, on Skype at Gabnet Live. I'll see you again tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, you know, tell her I love her. Okay, bye bye, everybody. Mm-hmm.